Hey guys, it's me Dominique, and today I'm going to be making a video about my Polaroid camera that I got this Christmas. So, <clears throat> this Christmas I got a Polaroid camera, and I am obsessed with it. I used all my film in one day, which was a really bad idea, so now I don't have film for a while. But I'm going to be getting some more very soon. I don't know when, but it will be soon. So, I'm just going to get straight into it. Let me turn my iPad off. So, I'm going to start with the box. I have a Fujifilm Instax Mini 8, and I got it in yellow. And in the box is just all of the instructions, warnings, all that stuff. What I did was I just cut out all of the English instructions and stuck them in there and threw out the rest because the rest was nonsense. But, this is the box pretty neat um I do not know how much it was because I got it for Christmas but I know they're around like a hundred and something dollars or they can be like to like sixty dollars it just depends where you get them you can get them at like Amazon Target Walmart Best Buy Urban Outfitters all of these different places but um, my mom got mine from Amazon so that's that. Now I will show, <clears throat> show you the film I use. I use the Fujifilm Insects, which basically everyone uses. This is the uh, pack that comes with two packs of 10. You can also get them with just a pack of 10, a pack of 30, a pack of 40, a pack of 50, a pack of 60. Um, if you want to get a really good deal, go on Amazon. We, me and my parents found a good deal. It was 50 film for $37. And we're probably going to be getting that soon. But, uh, yeah. It ranges 10 film is $10. 20 is $20. 30 is like 20 I don't know. It just depends on where you get it. Prices may vary. <laughs> so I have this film. And then I also have... <clears throat> The Instax Mini Rainbow. Now, this is really neat. I really like this film. I will show you what it looks like. These are all my films that I've messed up, and I will explain why in a second. Okay. Here are the ones that are blank. They're just, like, multicolored. And they're, like, really awesome and cool. I really like these. And there are like a very large amount of different types of films, but you could also get stickers that you put on the plain white film, which looks like so. This is like the plain film that everyone can get or that everyone does get. So you could take their stickers and you just put it around the border. And it's way cheaper than buying designed film. You just put stickers on there. I saw a deal that you can get like 60 for $10 or 80 for 15 I don't know. It was a really good deal, and I might get that with some of my Christmas money. But this is the plane, and you just get stickers, and you put it on there. And I thought that was really cool. There are also a ton of different accessories for your camera. You can get different lenses. There's like color... There's colored lenses for like filters, there's close-up lenses, selfie lenses, all these different types of lenses. Um, there's also like carriers for your Polaroid camera. There's so much stuff. The variety is like way out there. Like, oh my gosh, my feet hurt. But, um, I will get started with the camera once I show you this. This is what the film comes in. This one's empty. Um, but when you do take it out of the packet, you want to instantly put it in your camera or else the film can get messed up by the light and all this other stuff. And so it's good to put it immediately in your camera. And there's other things I need to talk to you about the film once I get into the camera. So let's get straight into the camera now. So this is my camera. It is the yellow Instax Mini 8. It is amazing. It is very fun. And it has this strap on it that came with the box, I guess you could say. And I just stuck it on the right side. This is the left side. And you can also put it here. 
but you can put it on either side it doesn't really matter so I'm gonna start with the front so all of the things on the front there is the power button and then this is the button you use to take the picture I think people call this the lens shutter uh, one of these ones are like the lens something in another but this is the power button and this is the button to take the picture this is uh the what you call it this is what you use to change the lighting settings this is the flash this is the viewfinder i have no idea what these two little dots are but i know you're not supposed to cover it up and then the lens so i will pop this on open and when it's open the lens is open you can see you guys but yeah so right here these are the light settings and each here i'm a yeah each little setting has a different meaning focus oh oh, oh my goodness so this is the house setting for when you're inside and it's not focused and it's bothering me. Okay. It's like focusing on my face. Okay, there we go. Close enough. This is the house. <clears throat> and you use this for when you're inside the house. This is uh, for when it's cloudy. This is for when it's sunny. This is when it's really sunny. And high key, a lot of people don't know what high key is so they don't use it. The high key is used to um, make your picture brighter. Like, say it's really dark in a room. You use high key and it makes it brighter. It makes it more, like, white and, like, washed out. And so I thought that was neat. And something else about the lighting. As you see, there is that orange light. And where the orange light is, that is where it recommends. That's the lighting setting it recommends for you to use. And there is this little, like, knob thing. And you turn it, and that shows which one you are on. And so that's what that is for. When you turn it on, this red light starts flashing. Or it flashes once to show that it's on. So now on to the back. Well, actually, I want to show you right here. This is where the batteries are. You have to push down and push it you like push where this is you push it down and then you push it down again so these are the batteries it comes with comes with two double a batteries and that's it for there on the back there is the viewfinder i will see if i can let you guys see through it i know i did this before there hi but yeah, that is the viewfinder. And then, if y'all saw that, there's a black circle in there. And the black circle indicates where the middle is. So you want to put that black circle in the middle, like where you want the middle of the picture to be. And then you take it, and that like helps you center the photo. And right here is where your cartridge of film goes into. And this indicates how much film you have in right now. Mine says I don't have any. So you just open it up. I'm only doing this for the sake of the video. Um, I am aware this could mess my camera up. I know that. So I am aware of what could happen. So let's hope for the best. So this is the cartridge. And normally, once you put in a full cartridge of film, you cannot take it out because it will mess up the film. Uh, those white films that I have, that's from opening this as there a film in there it exposed it to light and messed up the film so that's why you're not supposed to open it once it's been in there and it messes up this and it just messes up so many things it confuses the camera and all that other stuff so i'm going to take this you see this yellow little sticker thing there's a part right here on your camera mine's yellow so it's hard to see the yellow mark but you line it up like so and then you close it. Hold on. My Siri was on. So when you close it, it still says that it is empty. 
because when you put in a new thing of film, there is a protective film, and you take the picture, and it'll just be like a black piece of film, like it's not film, it's like plasticky, and you can just throw that out, and then you'll take it again, and that'll be your actual photo. And once you do that, this S will change into a 10. And I will just do that right here, right now. And as you see, it changed to 10. But if I were to take this thing out, you'll watch it. It changed to S, which means it's empty. So... That is about my Polaroid camera, and I will be making a haul video if I get any accessories, because I'm supposed to be getting some from my mom for Christmas that she forgot to order because it wouldn't come in time, and so I should be getting that soon. So I hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!